Yep. All right, I have a wedged ball. Are you yeah. filming? Yes. Good. Dry hands, dry ball, dry bat, smack it in the middle, and pat, pat, pat. You see that? Okay. I'm now going to center the clay initially. Center it. All right, I'm going to now compress and condition. I'm going to go down to a pill, and I'm going to bring it back up to a hill. I'm going to do it one more time. Pill to a hill. All right, now, I always say two hands on the tool. This is what that looks like. Wrists go onto the rim. I use the little tooth at the end of this thing. I drag it and get it cleaned off. All right, next step. I want to create a four inch cylinder. So I'm gonna get in there, water in the swimming pool, two thirds of the way down. I'm gonna bring this up, I narrow the foot, and now I'm gonna go left hand in, I'm right handed. So left hand goes in, right hand out. Notice my elbows are tucked to my body, and I'm gonna raise that clay. So there's my four inch cylinder. That's your demonstration that you can make a cylinder. All right, next step, three trims on the foot. You watching? First one is the blade cuts the clay so that means the blade splits the clay so look at where my wrists are they're right here at like five o'clock two hands on the tool i apply the tool so it splits the clay away from the pot do you see that next one is called snow plow same position but now i've laid this guy flat and i place it in there do you see that real good good and i hold this, the tool steady and that scrapes up the clay that's the snow plow. Third one is the blade to the pot directly. That enables me to scrape that excess clay off. Those are the three trims on the foot, all right? First one splits the clay. Second one is the snow plow and lifts the clay away. And the third one is a scrape directly on the pot. Got that? All right, trimming the rim. Tool is pointed here to like 1130. I'm coming across from three o'clock. I might have to extend the tool in my hand rest your wrist on the rim here okay i make this hand like a c i put my thumb on my thumb i want this finger to be in the pot and then in about 10 revolutions i push the tool through one two three four five six seven and then lift it off so my finger was there to help do that that looked just like this you want to see that go lift it off do you get that Tool comes across from three, pointing here just like to the left of midnight. Does that make sense? All right. Sponge and cut. So, sponging and cutting, remember, on the exterior and on the bat, that's at four o'clock for right handers. That would be at like 6.30 or seven for left handers. So I go up the side of the pot, four o'clock. Interior though is for me, two o'clock. That would be for other people, 10 o'clock if they were left-handed. Okay, soften your lip. Got that feeling. And then the final move is the cut. That's what I'm looking for, all right? So I'll publish this now. That's the expectation. This is what you should be practicing before you have me come over and evaluate you. Got it? All right, we'll be doing this. We can do it today. I recommend like, let's just do them next week. You should practice today. Show me next week. All right, let's go.